What's up, guys? I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Spooky. What do you think of Power Up so far? Dude, Power Up 2012 is a shit. We have an amazing venue here, and we have a lot of, a lot of the local crew from the Midwest, as well as a few, a few people from the outside coming in to check things out. So far, very excited. Now, obviously, you've been at you know streaming events for a long time. As far as like the prog progression, like we have things like Twitch TV and Own. I mean, as far as from where you started at to where we are today, what I mean, just general thoughts or any aspiring words for anybody out there. Well, um, I do like that now we're in the age where anybody can kind of present what's going on in their local scene, whether it's themselves playing at home or playing on Netplay, you know, Wolf Crone style, or, you know, someone who's a part of a bigger crew. Like, for example, next door here at Arcane Legacy, these guys run a stream all the time. And I mean, they got tons of stuff going on in there, not just fighting game related, but all types of things. So um, what's most exciting to me about this thing is that we're in the age now where pretty much anyone with a solid computer or a solid laptop can stream on, you know, Twitch or owned or whatever other site. So I, I think that's really awesome and I, I'd like to encourage people that feel they have a productive mind or that they want to put themselves out there. Definitely go for it because it's cool stuff. Now one of the others is kind of talk about like the evolution, like the, pre the presentation of like these events and stuff like that. And obviously we, you kind of have to mention MLG now. You got like MLG and uh, like IPL with these bigger, you know, trying to get fired games and quote unquote esports like just your thoughts like going forward like from the days of you know being jam-packed in like a small room small hotel banquet room to like where we are now you know what it, what are your what are your opinions on that well here's the thing um in the older days before the age of 2009 when there was a street fighter 4 um things were a little bit different now yeah we had smaller venues but that's because you know it wasn't really necessary for us to have something bigger than what it was but the release of street fighter 4 really kind of changed things for the scene um it got a, a more widespread audience, I think primarily because of Netplay, you know, between Xbox 360 and PSN, which made it so that more people kind of got into fighting games. Oh, I used to play Street Fighter 2, now I can play Street Fighter 4 or whatever else. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the toughest part about it, I think, is that the community-run events don't really have a lot of big sponsors that they can approach to really keep things going. I mean, we do have the, the regular old standbys. We have Mad Cats, we have Namco, we have Hori who shows up to the event sometimes. They show up, up to Seasons Beings all the time. But the tough part is that these sponsors really don't really sponsor these events monetarily. They really sponsor in product, which um, <laughs> which makes things really difficult for someone trying to organize an event because um, when you run an event, although you're do even if you are someone who's doing it for the community, um, you know, if you don't turn a profit, then there's, number one, there's less reason and less encouragement for you to do it the next year because it has to come out of your own pocket. And number two, you can't really expand. You can't sponsor plays of your own. You can't say, well, hey, next time, let's have like a satellite tournament in another region and we'll pay to fly a player out to like a power-up event or whatever else as, as an example. So that's one of the things that I think the main core scene is weak in. Um, uh, the thing about esports and MLG is that it is good that MLG is trying to run their own events. You know what I mean? The thing is, MLG is going to run things the way that they run to run things. And that's fine. They did the same thing in the StarCraft scene. For example, the continuation rule, which is a rule that's really unpopular in the fighting game scene. Everybody said, dude, this rule is so stupid. Why would you do that? They did the same thing to StarCraft players. The StarCraft players said the same thing. This rule is stupid. Why the fuck would you do that? But, you know, MLG is MLG and they're going to do their own thing, I guess. So um, th that element of it, I understand. But MLG is, is bringing in the big bucks. You know what I mean? And you can see, you know, the result of it. Bala was crying at the end when he won Mortal Kombat. I mean, uh, excuse me, Mortal CD Kombat. Uh, CD Jr. when he won Mortal Kombat, but also um, Bala when he won KOF. He was so happy. He was like, dude, I can send money home to my family. And that's, that, that's definitely a beautiful thing. It's something to be appreciated and respected. So the toughest part with MLG, I think, is that... Um, Number one, a, a, a lot of the time, whether it's by accident or just because things happen, their, their events tend to be scheduled at the same time as community events. And that causes a big laugh because people are going to go, well, fuck MLG. I'm going to go to you know this tournament that I've been to 15 years or 16 years or 17 years running. Um, so that element, I, I, I guess I'm kind of like dragging on and talking about a lot of different things. But um, you know, the, the, it, it feels like a, between a rock and a hard place, it's like MLG can do no wrong and yet they can do no right. And then at the same thing with the community run tournaments, you know, there's, there's the community run events, you know, it's great, tons and tons of people show up, but it's it's a big drain on anyone who organizes this type of event because most of it's gonna come out of his own pocket. And even if he makes a profit, it's not a profit that's gonna be something he can carry into the next year and say, oh cool, I made so much money this year at this event that next year I can blow it up super huge. No, they're making a little bit of profit in their pockets for all the hard work they put in and that's really, about it yeah. so that that's really the tough part about it and so for the future i like and i we have heard things about this before for example capcom 
recently has said that they're going to have $500,000 in like sponsorship for tournaments. But we don't really know the details of that. Is that going to go to community tournaments? Is that just going to go to MLG? Is it going to be like EVO? Is it going to be like some Capcom Fight Club thing? You know, we don't really know. But th that's more of what I want to see because these events at the end of the day do help sell the product, whether it's Mad Cats or Hurry Sticks, whether it's the actual game itself, so on and so forth. So I like to see a little, a little bit of give and take. So hopefully that's starting to happen. All right. Last question for anybody who hasn't really know anything about like behind the scenes at events like this and stuff. On a scale of one to ten, how tired are you right now? Because the people who run these events, people may not know, there's a lot of work that goes into these. And I mean, you're constantly. I mean, you're always moving. Like I've never seen you like legit like sit down and actually take a rest. You're always doing something. So, how tired are you? And I mean, just share a little light behind the scenes, like because people sitting at home watch the streams, they don't know what's going on here. Well, um, I mean, I, I, I am pretty tired, admittedly, especially now after, you know, working all day on Saturday and everything. And, you know, also running around the venue, for example, we did have, you know, there's always problems at every event. But, you know, it's really your job to say, you know, it, it, to either, you can either say, well, hey, there's a problem. Oh, well, this sucks. Or you can say, well, you know, time to come up with a solution. And, you know, that's something that I feel like kind of specialize in, but it's also very tiring because you come up with different issues at every event and sometimes it's like something you never encountered so I, as far as scale of one to ten dude i'm at like 11 right now man i'm to the point where like my brain just wants to shut down sometimes it's like man i need a rest but you know i can't do it we have the road to evo 2012 coming up not just here at power up but you know next week there's the nyu game center event the week after that there's richmond virginia civil war the week after that there's i'm coming right back here to the midwest for season's beatings and then after that there's more stuff going on and i mean who knows what's even going to happen with evolution this year you know what i mean I, we we did a great job for the cannons last year between myself i play winner and the whole crew there so there's a good chance that they're going to ask us to return this year who knows right so, I mean, plan and planning for the events is hard, too. You know, there's graphics that needs to get set up. The system has to be tested because, you know, there's different, you know, different methods work for different venues, you know, so on and so forth. So, there's, there's a lot of work involved. So, but, um, I mean, I feel that, that you know, if, if I want it to be successful, then, you know, if you want something done right, you really have to do it yourself. So, I really have to keep grinding out if I want things to keep going the way they're going. So. All right, man. Last but not least, you got any shout-outs or any, any, any props you want to give it? Uh, I, I give a shout out to Arturo, even though he's here at the event. You know, shout out to Art, he's a man. Shout out to the crew back at um, New York, IFC Ipes, you know, uh, Remix, Nelson, um, Persia, uh, you know, the whole crew over there. You know, I'll see you guys when I get back to NY. And shout out to everybody at Next Level Henry Sen, Ben Fong, Akuma Hokuru, the guys out there. I'll see you guys in New York. All right, well, like I said, again, it's been a long day. We just got done here on day two. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Yeah, man. We got grand finals tomorrow to look forward to. Yeah, of course. Top, yeah. eight of all, all, top eight of all the events is tomorrow. So if you happen to see this before, then make sure to tune in. Take it back where she knows that you do.